it was at 3.30 this morning this water was tested again. The data showed risky levels of E. coli bacteria again. And it's no surprise the Seine is dirty. For a century, swimming was banned until the Olympics came here. But plans to promote Paris have turned to embarrassment. The men's triathlon postponed hours before it was due to start here. The sports boss blaming days of downpours. It's unhealthy for, for the people who, who swim in the, in the river. If I was an athlete and it was said it was dangerous today, it would be hard to have confidence it would be safe suddenly 24 hours later. But if we are uh, taking care of that. <laughs> we are not going to let them swim if the, if the water is not uh, good quality. Do you apologise to all the competitors who have been disrupted? Yes, of course. I mean, well, we don't, we don't feel that uh, uh, someone in this case has uh, pain. Eh? We are not good. There's daily analysis of the water quality. We have three samples from three different locations that are being analysed right now. This lab contributing to the monitoring. What is dangerous is that when you have sewage that you know, overflows into the river, you get all the pathogens that are associated with it. So, you know, it's not the bacteria we measure that are necessarily dangerous, but it is all the pathogens that are coming with it. And those could be viruses, other types of bacteria. Uh, they could be protozoa, etc. So the, this is where the danger comes from. Ahead of the Games, this was the Paris mayor trying to prove the Seine is safe after pouring in more than £1 billion to upgrade sewage systems. Everything is in place here for the triathlon and there is still a hope it can be staged on Wednesday. But even organisers admit the water might not be safe enough by then and they could be forced to scrap the swimming leg entirely, just having a duathlon. Today, tests showed the Seine was too polluted. Will it be any safer tomorrow? The triathletes are left waiting, not knowing how and if there will still be a triathlon. Rob Harris, Sky News, Paris.